Welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show for week number four as we head into the bye week. But this week, the Mustangs take on the Golden Wolves of Alvernia after a humongous win over Delaware Valley University by the score of 21 to 20 here with Coach Ed Hoddle. Ed, uh, those wins don't get any bigger than that. No, they don't. It was uh, it was fun. It was, it was a great environment Saturday. Um, Mustang faithful showed up. They were loud. Uh, it, was, it was a fun environment to play. It was uh Fun, fun game to win, and um, you know all the credit goes to the kids. They did a great job executing game plans and, and hanging tough. And um, you know there were moments throughout the game where you know it could have gone either way, mm-hmm. and you know we, we were able to make enough plays at the end. So it was uh, it was it was definitely fun. You know when you have the defending MAC champion coming in has won 55 games in the conference in a row. Um, I noticed early on, and and it didn't show up in the box score, but there was a play where we made an interception. Samuel Johns made an interception. He was out of bounds. You reviewed it. Didn't get it your way, obviously. But making a play like that kind of seemed early on to change the momentum early on. It was like, you know, you're you're facing Del Val, this big bad monster, and you make this play, and all of a sudden you guys were excited. Did that kind of help in the beginning to get, like, the nerves out of the way? Um, I, I think it gave us a little bit of confidence. Okay. I think so much of, of – a young football team's identity is going to come from those little scraps of confidence mm-hmm. that you pick up along the way. And um, they were all, they were everywhere Saturday. You know, we had opportunities um, everywhere and, and, and fortunately we were able to make enough plays and build enough confidence, um, you know, to kind of withstand the back and forth with those guys a little bit. And, you know, their relative age versus our relative age, you, you know, I don't know that we've ever played that many freshmen right. in in a in that ball game ever. Right. Um, you know, I, obviously, you know, going back to 2011, 2012, 2013, uh, but since then, um, the number of freshmen that we played and you know the confidence they were able to play with was was exciting to watch and something that I, I think will serve us well long term. And you're able with Jordan Adams. They, you guys ran the football again. The first couple of games you only had the ball for maybe 23 minutes, 24 minutes. This one I think you end up at 37. And you're able to run the ball effectively. You had a lot of people touch the ball offensively. You seem like your game plan. You just seem like you guys were in sync the entire day. Well, and, the, and you're right. That was the plan was to you know to work to control the clock. Um, you know, offensively, you know, they've got, you know, a handful of really good receivers, quarterbacks, a special player. Um, tailback certainly, is, you know, is a good player. Offensive line-wise, they were pretty good. And, we, you know, we wanted to work to keep them off the field as much as possible, um, you know, let our defense rest a little bit. And I think we were – we were, for the first time all year, really able to play complementary football. We were able to play some field position, um, you know, scenarios, et cetera, which, you know, certainly is, is, you know, plays to your advantage a great deal. So, you know, and getting those guys some rest was, was certainly key down the stretch. And obviously the big play is Darius Henderson making the block extra point. After that extra point is blocked, instead of it being 21-21, now it's 21-20. You know, and you guys had controlled the ball for so long. What was your mindset going in that final drive, knowing that you probably didn't want to get have, give Dev all the ball back at the end? Like, what was your mindset? Well, interesting. It's an interesting question because you know they did score the touchdown, and, and then with the eventual block, there was no letdown. There was no slowing the momentum, right. which was interesting and palpable on our sideline. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I knew if we gave our guys a chance, you know, we were going to have an opportunity to grind out a couple of first downs. Um, you know, the, the the kickoffs always make you a little bit nervous. Mm-hmm. Um, big hits and young guys back there fielding balls and things like that under pressure. Um, you know, but once we secured the ball and, and, you know, got the first first down, you know, you start to feel a little better. Right. You yeah. know, but it's, it's cautious optimism. Um, you know, the timeout situation was certainly in our favor. Um, you, you know, so there was, again, cautiously optimistic, you know, but but confident in our guys that we could go out there and grind out two first downs and put it away. Now going into this game, you obviously had this big, you know, emotional high. Again, this was the first time Delver I'd be beaten in the league since you guys did it way back in 16. Now coming into play, Alvernia, what's been the message been all week to these guys getting ready for Alvernia? Back to work. Okay. Um, you know, as you look at the league and you look at, you know, being a contender when you move into the month of November, Mm -hmm. every single game is important. You know, certainly you look at last week's game and, well, yeah, they haven't been beaten in, you know, X number of games, X number of years, whatever the case may be. But ultimately when you get down to November, Alvernia 
and Delaware Valley are equally as important Correct. To, to achieve the ultimate goal of winning a conference championship. So th- there really is no difference. Mm-hmm. The, the reality of it is. And, and so, you know, trying to coach that into them, you know, get them kind of off of the, the high of the win and, and back, back to business. And, you know, we're going to lean on our upperclassmen, you know, to help us get that done. And, um, you know, it, it's just a back to work mentality. You know, we've got another job to do. Talk a little bit about Alvernia. Obviously, you've gone through where you started the program here at Stevenson. Same thing with Alvernia. They're in their first couple of years as a program. Uh, what can we expect out of the Golden Wolves today? They're going to compete. Um, Coach Azanasi and I go back to the Wesley days in 03, 04, um, when we were both assistants under Mike Drass. And um, Steve's a great football coach, mm-hmm. probably a better person. His teams are, are going to battle you. Um, you know, I think they're young in some spots like we are. Um, so, you know, they're, they're going to come out. They're going to they're gonna try to run the ball. They've got a receiver that's a problem. They've got a good young quarterback. And defensively, um, they do some unique things. So we're, you know, we're excited for the challenge for sure. And then obviously after this one, you have the bye week and then you have the – you go into the last half of the schedule. Uh, I kind of assess where you guys are at going into this bye week. Um, tough to tell. Mm-hmm. You know, I think we've, we've developed an identity. Um, I, I think we're kind of coming into our own who we are as a team. Um, but we've got to go on the road and, and play. You know, you look at the first four leading into the bye week, three or four at home. Yes. Uh, we didn't look great on the road. You know, we're going to have to play two of the, the last seven um, elsewhere. So, you know, we're going to have our hands full. You know, we've got to get that piece of it, you know, kind of settled down and make sure that, that we have our best football, whether we're here at Mustang Stadium or whether we're not, we're on the road. And, you know, some of that's going to be growth and maturity. Mm-hmm. Um, some of that's going to be leadership. Some of that's going to be, you know, better way of pr- preparing. Um, but, you know, looking forward to the challenge, looking forward to get the guys some rest, hopefully get some guys back. Right. Um, with a little bit extra time, you know, from some of the bumps and bruises. And, you know, looking forward to a great second half. All right, Coach, good luck today. Thank you. It's Stevenson and Alvernia, the last game for the bye week. Next on Go Mustang Sports, I thank you for watching, and go Stangs.